everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Relatable Rissa, where we're talking about all things relatable for you youth and young adults out there. So, let's get on to the video. So today I decided to do something a little bit different. I have a friend who's going to ask me a few questions about a bad habit that I've had and am working on getting over, and that bad habit is swearing. Okay? It's going to be a really um, honest and open video. Um, this isn't really something I've discussed before, so at least with not a lot of people, but I felt like this is an important thing for a lot of people to hear and know, and I'm just going to be super open and talk to y'all about my bad habit. So yeah, let's get on to the questions. Why did you start swearing? I started swearing because that's what people did in my house when I was growing up little bit of a backstory on me. I grew up in a house with an emotionally abusive mom. She would say a lot of things that were not cool to me or to other people in my family and that really just set up a bad environment for me to start swearing. She swore a lot, she's profanity, just said a lot of not good words and that was something she did since I was a young child and I held off on swearing actually for a really long time. It wasn't until I turned 16 that I started and it was because things had gotten so bad that I needed some way to vent and escape what I was hearing all the time and kind of lift this giant weight off of me somehow and I felt like swearing was a way to do that that didn't directly hurt anybody else. I mean it hurt me, <laughs> hurt me internally but it didn't, it wasn't affecting other people because I didn't really swear around people. I would swear when I was alone is more of a way to vent so that's kind of how I swore and why I started just a way to release all the stuff I was going through what made you decide to stop swearing I stopped swearing after I left my house and started living independently which was about a month before I turned 18 and I stopped because I realized a, it wasn't a good habit, it was a very bad habit, and B, it made me sound way different than how I actually am as a person, and C, it, and, and C, it wasn't something that was glorifying to God. So those all those reasons combined, I just felt compelled that this was something I needed to start working on and start changing the way I talked. Even if it wasn't around other people, it still was affecting me very deeply. I know I used to feel like I'm a horrible person because I swore and I just never felt like it really reflected my heart and who I was and I wanted to change that so I decided to start trying to stop that habit. Was it hard to stop swearing? Yes, it's very hard to stop swearing. So the thing about swearing is it's addictive. It, like anything that's addictive, tobacco, drinking, drugs, sex, that whole thing. It's one of those really bad addictors and once you start it's really hard to stop because it just becomes a habit and second nature and you're not even aware that you're doing something that's inappropriate after a while because it's what you do all the time and your brain just kind of becomes numb to that so getting into the mindset of just realizing when I would do it it really helped and it would just cut down a lot on it but yeah no it was very hard to do because of the addictiveness of it do you still at times relapse? Yes, I do, fortunately. How do you deal with relapsing? Um, I realize that I'm not perfect and I had this problem for about two years in my life and you know that's a long time to deal with a problem and it was and I realized that that was a habit of mine so I just accept that that is a part of my past and it's something I'm dealing with and I'm working towards improving myself on this every day and I accept that part of myself and I accept that this is something that I'm working on and as long as I'm working forward and not you know, completely going back to it, that that's okay. You know, it's a problem, I'm dealing with it, I'm trying to fix it. I just give myself a lot of grace and patience with trying to get over it. And you know, I'm one of those people where I don't, I get it when people are really angry or really sad and they're going through something and bad words slip out okay. And that's mainly when I relapse is when I'm super stressed or angry um, I understand that I don't really I don't like it when I do it and I don't really think it's appropriate for anybody to do it but I get it and I'm not like 
bashing anybody for doing that. I totally understand it. It's something that I do and I struggle with doing and oftentimes really have to catch myself, especially when I'm around other people or kids or something. I mean, so yeah, <clears throat> I just give myself a lot of grace and patience. All right, and what advice would you give someone dealing with a sorting problem? First of all, um, you're not a bad person. <laughs> I used to think because I swore it made me like this horrible rotten low being and it's not, <laughs> you're not, okay? It's just, it's something that you deal with. We all deal with problems. We all have issues that we go through. So don't, don't beat up on yourself. That's the first thing. And realize that it is something that isn't the best part of you and that's something that you would like to change. You have to have a realization and have a desire to fix it but you know if you if this is something that you're dealing with and something that you'd like to fix the first thing i would do is tell someone tell someone that you have this habit and that you want to stop and have them be an accountability partner for you and it's okay make sure it's someone who's not gonna like beat you over the head with a hammer every time you swear because it will happen like the first few months it you know i still swore quite a bit and it didn't go away and even now it's still not completely gone it's just way way less than it was a year ago and just be okay with the fact that you're gonna relapse and you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna do it again it's not something you can just turn on and off it's not one of those types of problems so just accept where you are right now and strive for every single day to be better be aware of what you're saying try to catch yourself and just pray pray to God ask him to help you with it because it's something that um, you know, swearing is not something that he desires for us to do and if we're willing to change it he's going to help us fix it and he's going to give us the peace and the patience in order to do that thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and were able to get something out of it that was relatable for you please hit the big red subscribe button down below and be sure to share this video with your friends especially if you have a friend who's maybe having a bad habit or you think this is something that would help them please share it with them spread the word i love you all see you next week bye